안녕하십니까? 어, Hello, I'm Dr. Kim Gyeong Won of Dr. Steve Easy Hands On. Today, we're going to look at 485 kit. 485 kit, as you can say, tell from the name, is for the short implant placement. Stand of the standard implant, a 7 to 8, 5 millimeter length short implant and 6 meter or under short implant can be more safely and easily installed with this kit. Now, what are the characteristics of this kit? First, the 485 drill in this kit is that the tip of the drill is round edge in design. This means that it's similar to the cast drill concept. So, mostly in the lower molar area where you place short implant, we can prevent uh, damaging the important nerves there, like inferior alveolar nerve. So, cuss, like cuss, it has a rounded edge design and it forms bonded on the inverted cone shape. And that concept is available for this drill. Another characteristics of this 485 drill is that as in 122 taper drill, at the bottom, we don't have Y dimension. So by getting rid of the Y dimension, the exact measurement of the drill length is possible. And again, the anatomical nerves, important nerves there can be prevented from damaging. So we have clearance of one millimeter to the stopper, so you can control the depth but for 485 uh, drill, in case of 1 to 2 taper drill, you tend to uh, drill fully to the stopper. But for this 485 drill, for short implant placement, especially on the lower molar side, again, it has a lot of important inferior alveolar nerves there. So uh, we removed Y dimension there for safety reasons. So the black laser marking that in the stopper, uh, you can use that as a base uh, for your uh, practice, and then you can place implant more safely. Now, it, again, same concept as one to two taper drill. So a simple and easy drilling sequence is available after initial drilling, then before going to 485 drill, we have pilot drill, so you can implant, uh, install implant with one or two sequence. But before 485 uh, drill explanation, let me explain about short implant. Short fixture, in other words, short implant basically means fixture of less than six millimeters in length. Now, six millimeter is the base because KFDA approves that implant of six millimeters needs to have diameters of at least five millimeters. So basically, six millimeter is the fixture length, and that is the short fixture. And then four millimeters and five millimeters extra short fixture has the overall fixture length same as six millimeters, except where the screw has four or five millimeters, and on the top there is bevel, so that ex exposed uh, on top of the bone to have the extra short fixture. So in case of extra short fixture, at the bottom is the SA surface with the large grid sand blasted and then acid etched surface. And then bevel area is only etched surface. Now like this, for the extra short implant, Bevel has exposure of one or two millimeters, then 1.2 millimeter, then you can place five millimeters. And if bevel area exposed by 2.2 millimeters, you can place by four millimeters in depth. That is short implant. So these are the types of short implant. You have TS3, SS3, and US3. And basically, the general normal implant, in other words, 5 millimeters diameters or less implant, then KFDA approved that you cannot go less than 7 millimeters. You can only create uh, 7 millimeters or above. So for normal fixture, 7 millimeters and 8.5 millimeters, and then for 
and others you have the bevel area so you can place up to six millimeters and diameters if it's five millimeters short millimeters you can have six millimeters and length and bevel has uh, on top of that so you can place up to four to five millimeters so that is overall specifications now let's look at the components of this kit this kit basically has drilling tool and then fixture installation tool it also has abutment uh, and others in assemble tool and torque lunge and other instruments so first guide drill basically it has the side cut of lance drill so it's initial drill and it's used for marking a hole so using this drill you position the hole so it just slightly goes under the cortical and then we also have 2.2 twist drill which is used as an initial drill and the twist drill for this kit is after marking the hole this can be again used as an initial drill and this drill basically has the slight different uh, spec and design of 2.2 twist drill of 1 to 2 drill. So in the past, if the drill length was 6 millimeters, then on the stopper has 1 millimeter on top of that, and Y dimension has 0 0.6 millimeters, this means that full drilling to the stopper, uh, 7.6 millimeter drilling depth for this 2.2 twist drill in one to two tapered kit but in this drill the length is indicated six millimeters but we shortened by one millimeters to five millimeters this is because in the lower uh, molar side where we have important nerves like inferior alveolar nerve for safer drilling compared to next step drills uh, if you go beyond the laser marked line then 5.6 millimeters uh, will be the actual depth of the drilling so because of the wide dimension underneath the damage can be prevented so we intentionally uh, designed it to go short let me explain further with the next slide as you can see here diameter 5 6 millimeter length fixture if you want to install this as i said before after doing initial marking 2. Uh, then if you use 2.2 twist drill the twist drill length is 5 millimeters 1 millimeter less than 6 millimeters so if you go to the mark include wide dimension 5 6 millimeter will be the drilling length after that the pilot drill and 5.8 4A5 drill if that is used then full length if you drill to 6 millimeters then actually in case of 2.2 twist drill compared to next step drill about 0 0.4 millimeters of short design would be the result this is because as I mentioned like in the lower nerves uh, where there are important uh, nerves there on the lower molar side you need safety in installation so in case 2.2 dimension with the wide uh, dimension we uh, intentionally made it 0 0.4 millimeters shorter next is pilot drill as you can see in the past in case of straight drill in Hanaro kit and in uh, which was in there we had pilot drill but in wanted to taper and taper drill we got rid of the pilot drill but if you go back like here 2.2 twist drill after using if you use 485 drill this drill itself the f is tapered to m match the fixture design so it's thick in the bottom the drill itself is short so the bottom is thick and because there's no y dimension in that case after twist drill if you go with this four eight uh, five drill it can be tricky so in between as an intermediary step we use file drill and that's how it's designed
So in case of pilot drill, after using 2.2 twist drill, before shifting to the next step to 5 to uh, 4 millimeter drill as an intermediate step, this drill can be used. So basically, in case of 485 uh, kit, we don't have the uh, F uh, 3.5 drill because the drill itself is short. So before going to the next uh, drill, for safety of the drilling sequence, as an intermediate step, you use this pilot drill. So you have 4 and 6 millimeter in length. So 4 and 5 millimeter extra short implant. In that case, you can use 4 millimeter pilot drill. If you have 6 or 7 or 8.5 implant, then you can use 6 millimeters pilot drill. Next is the most important drill in this kit, 485 drill. This 485 drill, as I briefly mentioned at the bottom, has no Y dimension. And because of that, the, it's same as cast drill. It has round edge design at the bottom. And then you have the inverted cone shaped bonnet formation. Under there is possible. So like this, there's no Y dimension. So when you drill, on the uh, lower molar side, where we have important nerves, then to, for safer drill, up to stopper, we have one millimeter clearance. But when you drill, for short implant to put it safely, in case of this drill, up to bottom of the laser marked line. So you check with your eyes where you want to drill. So rather than go fully to the stopper, check with your eyes to the line. And that is the way to protect the important nerves on the lower side. Next, um, let me explain further, as in the cast design, like if you drill on the egg shell, for one to two taper drill, Y dimension sharp area actually can destroy the protein membrane in, on the inside of the egg shell. But in case of 485 drill, the tip is like cast drill. So it has a bony formed on the inverted cone shape. So it doesn't destroy protein membrane. So when placing short implant on the lower side, you can protect the important nerves. So like this, when you use this drill, drill length itself is like up to stopper, you have one millimeter clearance, but there's no Y dimension. One to two taper drill be six or seven millimeter uh, drill. Uh, that Y dimension is one millimeter available, but this drill doesn't have that. And in drilling, with, when you use this 485 kit, uh, it's for lower molar side, placing short implant. Hence, in one to two taper drill, full length drilling with stopper. Rather doing that for this, you just uh, drill only up to the black line so that you can see exactly how much uh, you want to drill. And that's uh, better for safety. So drill extension is same with other kits. So it extends drill length by 16.9 millimeters. And mount driver, it's a simple mount driver. And again, um, we only do this with short implant. So it only has long shafts in mount driver. So pre-mount fixture can be used as a driver. And in case of no mount driver, it only has long shafts. So if you don't have mount like this, no mount driver can be used. And in case of mount extension, then you can connect to torque wrench like this. And in case of fixed driver, the same. The, it's the same as the basic ones. It can To ma mark the hexa direction, you have the notch. And it can be used as a no mount driver. And 
Fixture driver itself is too short, or as it, the short implant is used uh, for this. So this is tool for torque extension. So you can extend by 10 millimeters. And hand driver, it's a 1.2 hex driver. So this hex driver, again, it only comes in long shaft. So removing mount or tightening cover screw or you know putting healing abutment, you can use this driver. As for the torque driver, we have 1.2. 2 torque driver in long shaft and using torque wrench abutment or abutment screw can be tightened and in doing so it can it can be used to secure the torque uh, that we want so this 485 drilling sequence is as follows for example 4.0 diameter implant, then basically 2.2 twist drill. As I said before, you use a short uh, drill. And before moving 485 drill, if it's normal bone quality, then you can use 4 millimeter uh, drill. But if the bone is too hard, you can use 4.5 drill in 485 uh, drill. So in using 485 drill also, you can use pilot drill as an intermediary step. Then after 2.2 twist drill, before using wide uh, 485 drill, you use pilot drill for more smooth drilling sequence. So twist to two drill, you just do two step drilling. So 485 drill of fixture in 5.0 and fixture 5.5. And if it's 5.5, uh, 4.5 diameter, uh, it's F5.0, 4.5 and 5.0 and it goes on like that. Let me explain now about the hands-on practice. Now, we will tell you about the characteristics and components of this kit, and we'll, uh, I'll show you how to uh, place short implant using this kit. Basically, it's the case of three missing cases, three tooth missing cases. So for number 45, like this, diameter 4.5, uh, 7 millimeter will be placed in number 46, 5.0, 6 meter implant will be placed, and for number 47, 5.0, 4 millimeters extra short implant will be placed. So that in case of extra short implant, the fixtures bottom screw part will go into the bone, bevel will be exposed. And we will see and practice how to do that. I'll see you in the hands-on part. So, we will now start the hands-on uh, practice. Now, as I told you, three teeth are missing. And in case of number 45, uh, 5.0 by 7 millimeters, uh, TS3. And here, for number 46, 5.0 by 6 millimeters, TS3. And also number 47, uh, 5.0 by 6 millimeters, in other words, extra short fixture will be installed in this hands-on. First, I'm going to do subcrestal incision. Like this. So, vertical release. And here, vertical release slightly. And like this, so flap opened. So for convenience of this practice, I will do a tagging suture. So flap with self-retraction, uh, eye sutures. So I'll drill with number 45 first. With guide drill, I'll just mark the hole. Uh, 
Now number 45, diameter 4.5 by 7 millimeters and there will be 1.5 millimeter gap uh, with the adjacent tooth. So short implant will go in. So I'll just mark hole, the position. And then again for this implant, 20.2 twist drill 7 millimeter will be used. And then the drill itself is 6 millimeters excluding Y dimension. So up to laser marked line, you will drill that would give you 6.6 .6 millimeters of the drilling depth. So as you can see, so when you play short implant, the depth is very important. So if it's possible, rather than going full length like this, you only drill up to the laser marked line. And check that with your eyes. So drill tips too thick. Uh, to go with the uh, 485 drill. So at intermediary, I'll use the pilot drill 6 millimeters. So again, 6 millimeter pilot drill up to laser marked line, the black line, I'll drill only up to that point. So as you can see, if possible, only up to the black line. So the buckle size is a bit high. So again, I did the pilot drill and final drill diameter 5, 4.5, 4.57 millimeter is the implant size. So I will use this 7 millimeter uh, final drill. So like this. So only up to this point. And as you can see, when you drill, you don't go to the stopper to full length. We only do up to the laser marked line to the crystal. Now, as pre no mount fixture is prepared, so I will go with the no mount driver. So check whether it's the installation or the uh, placement mode. And again, 0.57 millimeters TS3 fixture will be installed. And lastly, fixture driver. And with the torque length, I will adjust the depth. So as you can see, with the torque wrench, the depth is controlled. The final torque, I check, it's above 30 newtons. And um, as on the lower side, there is a lot of important nerves and you are drilling that area. And the depth compared to standard TS3, it's a bit shallow. So we place in the position that we want. Next, we move to number 46, and this is 5.06 millimeters short implant. Again, mark the hole with guide drill first. Diameter 5.0, I said it's 6 millimeters in length. So 2.2 twist drill, 6 millimeters uh, drill will be the one that I'll choose. And 6 millimeters means up to laser marked area, you drill about 5.6 millimeters. So compared to 485 drill, it's short by about 0 0.4 millimeters. So with this twist drill, like up to the laser marked line, you drill in. Next, as an intermediary step, I use 6 mm long pilot drill. Mm -hmm. 
So, up to laser marked area, I drill in. Then, here is a final step, 5.0 by 6 millimeters, 485 drill will be used. So diameter 5.0, 6 mm long fixture. No mount fixture will be mounted on the driver. So again, check that it's in the installation mode. And this is the size of the uh, fixture, meaning it's really short implant. So again, in the mouse, I check that the engine is in the correct installation mode and place the implant. Then, using the fixture driver, you with hand wrench, I adjust the final depth, and like this, final torque, I check that it's 30 newtons of the insertion torque, and you can see it's uh, well in place. And number 47, mark with guide drill. Number 47, I mark a hole first. Number 47, diameter is 5 and 4 millimeter long. Extra short implant will be placed. So 4 millimeters, 2.2 uh, twist drill. 4 millimeters will be the one that I'll use. Again, this one, compared to pilot drill or 485 drill, it's short by 0 0.4 millimeters. Its uh, total length is about 3.6, so it's very uh, short uh, drill, as we are going to place extra short implant. So you can see, you drill up to the laser marked line, the black line. 4 uh, mm long pilot drill will be used. Drill is rather short with pilot drill. So 5.0, 4 millimeter uh, drill that I'll use. So up to the laser marked black line. No mount driver will now be used. So like this, extra short 4 millimeter implant mounted. This is check that it's in the right mode, place me, uh, mode. So total length is 6 millimeters, but the thread area is 4 millimeters, and then bevel has a 2 millimeters on top of that. So total is 6 millimeters, but uh, the placement depth will be 4 millimeters. Then, uh, I'll use fixture driver. Now, the fixture is very short. So, with hand wrench, when you do final setting, be careful that the path is not distorted or twisted. So, be careful as you only go 4 millimeters in. So, like this. So, 
So insertion torque, the final torque is 30 newtons. So like this. As you can see, number 45, 6, and 7, number 45 is a, a 4.57 millimeter implant, and 46 is 5.06 millimeter implant, and last 47 is 5.04 millimeters extra short implant has been placed. So in case of the extra short implant, the bevel uh, part is not as a surface, but the acid edged surface. So like this, it protrudes uh, along the alveolar uh, bone. So using 485 uh, kit, uh, we place three implants and now uh, we'll uh, put the cover screw. So before suturing, So three implant is now placed with cover screw and now I'll do the final suturing. Now, let's see what questions have come in. First question is, when using 485 drill, why do you drill only up the laser marked line? You cannot go full length. Now, what I show you, a 485 drill, then, you know, usually you full, do full length drill up the stopper, but here you only do up the laser marked line. This is because for 485 kit is for short implant. So sometimes you use on the upper side, but on the maxillary side, especially on the molar side, if it's close to important nerve, then you use this kit for safety reasons. So you have one millimeter clearance uh, from stopper to laser mark line uh, in consideration of the bone uh, height difference. And also in the fixture, sir, measure distal area Maybe height is available, but on the buckle and other si side, uh, there it could be shorter. So that's why you give one millimeter clearance. But in the clinical setting, if you see that there is sufficient distance from the uh, inferior alveolar nerve, then you know, as you, I said, not available in drilling, uh, it might be tricky. So if the bone is sufficiently sufficient, then you could actually do full length drilling but if full length drilling is only for that uh, but if the bone is not sufficient and for short implant for safety in this kit i only uh, is drilled up to laser marked uh, line so again if the bone is not uh, sufficiently available then you have to give extra consideration to the drill length Next question. In extra short fixture, why did you give bevel on the top side? As I explained, in case of short implant, means it's less than six millimeters in length implant. But KFDA approved that implant length needs to be minimum six or above. So in case of extra short implant, we have bevel because fixture length is six, but in the screw length that goes into the bone, we made it four or five and a nest is exposed. So on the top side, we have bevel so that the fixtures over length is six millimeters, but what goes into the bone is four millimeters or six millimeters. And so it can be controlled. And that's for that purpose, we have created bevel. Now, I explained about 485 kit and also through hands-on practice, I showed you how implant can be placed using this kit. So if you have a very narrow space or very uh, small remaining uh, bones on the uh, molar lower side, this can be a helpful kit. Thank you for your attention.